watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make some hot burgers and I'm going to show you how I do it. That's right, hot burgers. And you say, well, of course a burger is supposed to be hot. Nobody wants to eat a cold burger. No, I'm talking about spicy hot, you know, sabor. You know, that's uh, Spanish for flavor. You know, got to have that pica, that spice, you know. I'm going to make some hot burgers. All right, yeah, I'm going to do it on my uh, Lodge uh, Sportsman's Grill. Got this little Lodge koozie too. It's pretty cool. Anyway, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you. Then I'm gonna tell you, and then I'm gonna tell you what I told you. All right, so first let me tell you what I'm gonna tell you. This is not about uh, how to dress the burger. You put whatever you want to. You want lettuce and tomato on your burger? Fine. You want pickles on it? Fine. You want some fancy, smancy, stinky cheese on it? Fine. You dress your burger however you want to. You want it on a fancy bun? Fine. It's also not the size of the burger. They don't have to be thin. I'm gonna make mine thin and I'm gonna stack them, you know, on top of each other. You could do these as smash burger style. You could do them as big, thick backyard burger style. You could do them on big buns or small buns. And it's not about the grill I'm using, even though I'm using my Lodge Sportsman's Grill. You can use these on your favorite grill, uh, on your griddle, on a skillet on the stove, a grill pan on the stove, your air fryer. I don't know, however you make burgers, you make your burgers the way you want to. So this is about how to mix up the burger meat to make hot burgers. You're gonna start with a pound of lean ground beef. Uh, yeah, I'm using the tube because it's really easy because we're gonna start with lean. You want lean for this because we're gonna mix it with a pound of hot breakfast sausage that's right hot breakfast sausage not only that I'm using uh, two other ingredients you may want to use more but I'm gonna use um, in the ground meat I'm gonna season the ground meat then we're gonna mix in the sausage right I'm gonna season the ground meat with some of this Heath Riles hot barbecue rub now I got to meet Heath um, a couple month ago or so up in um, Salt Lake City Utah and uh, couldn't have met a nicer fella man he was a nice guy and anyway he says hey Big Lou I'll send you some uh, seasonings and I didn't ask him to he just offered and of course I accepted I'd have been a fool not to I did pick up some uh, some of his rubs at a Bucky's before these came in but I didn't get the hot barbecue rub till he sent it to me so he sent me this all right so I'm gonna put this in the ground meat and I'm gonna put my favorite hot sauce or one of my favorite hot sauces I got lots of favorite hot sauces I'm gonna put this you put your favorite hot sauce so we're gonna season the ground meat with this and hot sauce then we're gonna mix in the sausage all right now if you don't have this get you some if not use a um maybe like a cajun or creole seasoning of some sort or use some salt some pepper some garlic some onion some hot smoked paprika or some cayenne pepper or something like that you know but uh i'd suggest getting this because they're real good with this i've already tried it and uh your favorite hot sauce anyway that's it four things right four let's mix them up all right, first thing you gotta do is open the package and it ground meat is so lean it didn't all come out in one piece. I like to uh, split it from stem to stern, but this pork sausage, you see, it comes up pretty much in one whole piece like that. Anyway, we're gonna season the ground meat with that Heath Riles hot barbecue rub, and then I'm gonna add some uh, Tabasco. I would say about a tablespoon of each per pound, thereabouts, and then we wanna just mix that in, just work that in, get you some gloves and just Work all that seasoning all through the ground meat. Now there's no need to season the sausage, of course. So once the meat's seasoned, you uh, add the sausage and you start mixing that. You wanna kinda of get a uniform color. You know that ground meat is red and that sausage has kinda of got a grayish color to it. So get it all to it's about a uniform color and uh, get it all mixed in there th thoroughly, you know. Hard to get it completely uniform, but you want to, don't want any big pockets of sausage or meat. Once that's done, roll them into some spherical-like objects, you know, something round, and then uh, smash them. Now, some people like their uh, burgers round. Mine never come out round. Mine are like a work of art, like Picasso or Jackson Pollock. All right, yeah, round burgers, that's not creative. All right, there we go. That's my burgers. Now, I've got the uh, Sportsman's Grill fired up. I dumped out the chimney. And what I'm doing is making that Jealous Devil charcoal an even layer on the bottom right there. And I uh, got the grill grate on. That's a three-notch lodge uh, number five skillet. I've got two pats of butter in it. And that's so I can saute some onions to go on top of these hot burgers. All right, so there's an onion all cut up. And I'm just going to saute it with some butter right there. And uh, now let's put the burgers on Listen to that sizzle. Now the juices are starting to flow on top of them here, at least this one. And that's about when I like to turn them. Just give it a flip. Look at those grid lines. 
That Sportsman's Pro does a lot better job with the grid lines than the old one when it was in the arrays position. All right, a few seconds later, let's go ahead and flip the large ones. You see the juices? Yes, indeed. Now, I could do cross-haired um, hatch lines on here if I wanted to, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm going to eat it. and I've got uh, these onions that are cooking, so I'm not going to worry about the cross-haired stuff. As you watch those sizzle and griddle, I'm tell you, I really like this Lodge Sportsman's Grill. I had the old one, and I loved it. Had it for years and loved it, and I was a little on the fence about Lodge changing it. But I got to tell you, I like it. I do want to, if you get a new one, don't tighten the bolts up. It might sit on level. I had to loosen my bolts up when I first got it. Did a video on that, long, lengthy review video with it. But anyway, I do enjoy using this Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Um, this is the Pro model, and as much as I love the old model, I like this one a bit better. I've had a lot of time to use it. I've had it since February. It's now uh, late June, so I've used this at least four or five months. And I got to tell you, I do enjoy doing it. I did turn the uh, skillet around, just get a little more even heating with the onions. And it's about time to check the temperature on these burgers right here with the um, Thermoworks Thermopin. I got a little magnet on the back, so I'm stick it to my table. One, th You know what, that burger's done. So I'll pull it off, check these others. Yeah, they're done too. So, let's get them off of here. Put the others on. You want to see this side? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna be good. Gotta kind of be careful to get these all on here. All right, you saw me test the other burgers. These are on here now. Uh, you want to test them with a good thermometer. This is the uh, Thermoworks uh, Thermopin. I also recommend the Thermoworks Dash. I'll have links below if you're interested in one of them. They're both great thermometers. The reason you want to test these, you do not want to eat these burgers medium rare, or you don't want to eat them rare. You want to eat these well done because it has the pork in it. It's not just ground beef. So make sure, since you got that pork sausage in there, you cook these all the way through. I had to run inside for a moment. Well past time to flip. Oh, they're looking great. Looking great. Hot burgers and these onions, they're getting about done. All right, so there's the burgers. I melted some Velveeta sharp slices on three of them. All right, and I toasted up the buns. Now, you dress your burger however you want to. I'm going to take the two most misshapen patties because I'm daddy and leave the round ones for the kids, all right? Uh, one with cheese, one without cheese. Those are hot dill pickles. They were pickled with cayenne pepper and garlic cloves. And that sweet hot pepper mustard I'm putting on my hot burgers, all right? Now, if you don't want them uh, too, too hot, leave that kind of stuff off because the patties are seasoned well enough. There's those sauteed onions I'm going to put on top. And uh, I was holding the camera, I didn't use the tripod here. Tripod was still left outside, so just kind of went with it real quick like that. But that's how I dressed my burger, and it was delicious. Eli's doing a video, I gotta taste this, y'all. Hot burgers. That was just the meat, not even condiments, y'all. Mm. I love hot burgers. Guys, if you like spicy food, you gotta try hot burgers. Dress them however you want. Absolutely delicious. Cook them however you want. But mix that hot sausage with some good seasoned ground beef, like that Heath Riles hot barbecue rub. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.